Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna take you through how I do my clean girl slick bun that I wear 85% of the time. I just love it so much. It's so quick, so easy, and yeah, it never fails me. So yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm just gonna start off by saying this isn't grease. This is actually product build up in my hair. I did a slick bun yesterday. Um, so yeah, my hair is not unbelievably greasy in case you were thinking, Daisy, what on earth? is up with your hair. Okay, so the brushes that you'll need to do your slick bun are these ones. So this one actually isn't essential. I just quite like to use it. I use it to do my parting because like, because it's really spiky and just like really thin and spiky. You can get really like good parting with it. So that, or if you just like have a parting brush, that kind of thing, or just use your finger. Okay, next up is just your normal hair brush. Just literally whatever you do to brush your hair. Then the most important brush is your slick back brush. I've actually moved on to this one, it's from Amazon. I'll link obviously everything in the description as always. Um, I think it's really good. I used to use one from Lula Bells. I used to use this one from Lula Bells, which again is actually really good. This just has more like bristles on it. So it I feel like it scrapes it back better. Okay, so the first step is to part your hair. So I kind of part it about this high. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you've got a good chunk of hair on the top of your head that has been like sectioned away from the rest. Just brush out your hair to make sure there's not any knots and just so it's easier to work with. So to get the actual ponytail part of the bun, literally just do it like a normal ponytail. Scrape up your hair just with your normal brush to start off with. Make sure everything's kind of brushed out. There's not any lumps or anything like that. So the product that I've been loving to do my slick backs with is this wax stick from Amazon. It was like three pounds, I'm pretty sure. It works so well. So what you need to do is you just push it up and then put it on like this part of your hair then once you put that on like the hairline section take your brush and apply quite a lot of pressure and just slick back the hair and literally go around the rest of your hair this hairline then the bottom and just slick it back until it's all kind of looking like this once all the bits of your hair have been slicked back then just take a hairband I quite like a really thick tight one because I feel like it just makes it easier to keep like the structuredness and just wrap that around the ponytail try not to like lose any of the tight slickness that you've got by brushing it okay so once you've got your ponytail looking exactly how you want it to look all slicked and everything it's time to move on to the top section so just take out the clip and then this is where the parting thing comes into play. So I just use this to go through and get my middle parting. I mean, it was already pretty middle anyway. Once you've got your parting exactly how you want it to be in both sections all brushed out, it's then time to slick back the top bit. So what I do is I just take one side at a time. It makes it easier. It makes it a lot more like less fussy. And I like to pull it back nice and tight and almost join it to the ponytail like this. And then just take your wax stick and put a bit over the hair and then just slick it back how like you want it to look. I feel like different people like different types of like, don't know, how it's like slicked back. Now that my right side is done, I'm going to do the left. While you're doing the left, make sure that you've got your hand like keeping the right side tight. Make sure you keep that parting the whole time. I think that's really important for the kind of slick bun that I like to make sure you've definitely got a parting. Once you've got all your hair slicked exactly how you want it to be, then just take another hairband and really tightly again wrap that around and just make a ponytail. Okay, now that your hair is all slicked back, it's time for the actual bun part of the slick bun. So what I do is I take the ponytail and I split it into two separate sections. Then I actually twist the two kind of parts of the ponytail. You want to twist them both in the same direction, both like going away from your face if that makes sense, is the first like movement. And then cross them over at the front, like this, still keeping like the twist tight. And then go around the back. I'll show you from the back as well. Keep twisting. And then you secure it all with a hairband. Okay, so basically you need to make sure that you keep both sides of like the sections like twisted. And then when you cross them over at the top, again, like keeping the twist twisted. I've never said twisted so many times in my life. And then do it at the bottom again. Obviously, if you've got longer hair, like you'll do it more times. If you've got shorter, you'll do it less. Um, and then just keep doing like from the top to the bottom, top to bottom until you've run out of hair. And then screw it with a hairband. That's literally it. I like to leave a little bit of hair out the bun just to kind of spike it up. If you don't want to do that, just tuck it in. But then take your hairband 
and then just wrap it round. If you are trying to keep a bit of hair out, make sure you just don't include that in like the bun bit. Then you can kind of just fiddle around with the bun to make it look exactly how you want it to look. It's really handy to have a mirror that you can do this with. So you can see the back of the bun in the mirror, if that makes sense. Also ignore how dirty this mirror is, that's actually disgusting. But I just do this to make sure it looks exactly how I want it to look and then I start to spike out the bits of hair. So I just take the bits of hair that are kind of coming out and I just fiddle around with them. This is all very dependent on what parts you've left out. Sometimes it's a lot easier, sometimes it's just like you have to just find bits. And then just lock it all in place with the hairspray. My favourite, it's got to be glued. It's so good. It is like glue for your hair. It's so strong. I just spray this over my whole head, really. And then a bit on the bun, just so the hair kind of stays how you wanted it. So yeah, that is how I do my slick bun. It's always a go-to when I can't be bothered to do my hair down. I just work it up in a slick bun. Um, I love it so much. I hope it was helpful. I hope you kind of understood what I was saying and like I taught you some things. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It means the world and I'll see you in my next video. Love you.